Hey guys, it's Compa Quickie Time with Economics and Comics. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and turn on all notifications. Let's go. Welcome back to Comic Book Quickie. We got Spawn number one, okay? Um, as well as doing the quickies on these, I'm going to tell you something about the book, of course. Um, this is the newsstand edition, which is basically like a one in a hundred, I believe. Um, and there's a different um, pinup inside. But let's start Todd McFarlane's baby, Spawn, okay? It's funny, like, I, I think most of us know Spawn went to hell, but... It shows Earth, like from, from like he's on another planet or something, which I thought was funny. But it's basically talking about, um, Spawn doesn't know what's going on. Like, he he knows he has to go back. He knows he died, type of thing. And he's talking to himself a lot. Now the the news tan, you can tell the paper quality is different inside. It's newspaper. Like it feels different. Anyway, the art's incredible. Okay, so you see Spawn. He's kind of talking to himself. Why am I here? What am I doing? What? He doesn't know what's going on. This is the very first issue. Now you have these newscasters talking about stuff that's happening about Al Simmons, who is Spawn, his death. They talk about Wanda Blake, his wife, uh, a character of Martin Alexander, the friend of his wife, uh, that is like at the funeral type of thing. Shame, shame, shame. You know, sh you know he has he has a He's dead, you need to stay away type of thing. Just classic news channels talking about his death and a little bit of his history, his war history, and he was a colonel and all this stuff. He starts to remember um, a little bit of his past. And uh, he also remembers dying. Okay. I'm going to press this book, clean it up, and send it in. And then he starts seeing Wanda. And he talks about the deal he made. I never really hear him say the deal with the devil. Okay, but he makes a deal when he's dead, right? To He wants, all he wants to see is Wanda. Now that he's back, he doesn't remember anything. Like, he doesn't remember absolute, he doesn't remember anything except little spurts of things, right? And this is kind of when the clock starts. It's like spawn clock. And we don't really, there's nothing, you see it count down in this book, but you don't really know anything about it just yet. But besides that, the art's incredible, guys. Okay. And then you kind of get your real first look at him right here. He's talking about how with his powers type of thing, he feels like he can do anything, but he can't remember anything. And he kind of almost like traded in. To remember stuff and then you get your first like full full spawn layout here he talks about finding answers first and then once he's found out answers then he'll go after the guy who framed him right they don't tell you much about his death exactly in this one yet then we see our first appearance, guys, of uh, Sam and Twitch. And they're detectives investigating murders. Um, basically, mafia guys are getting taken out. And uh, he's telling he's telling them how one of the guy's heart was ripped out and put in his mouth. You know, Spawn is classic for being kind of dark. Well, very dark. <laughs> okay, so now we switch on to Spawn doing his first act of kindness or whatever being a hero there's a bunch of dudes that are basically about to rape a woman okay he comes down and he says you better stop or you guys are in, you know we're I'm gonna take care of you and one guy tests him right and he throws him through a window <laughs> And then they keep talking, and then something happens here where he like does this mist, and it blows up, and they all run away, right? So, sp 
Bon goes to tell the girl it's okay, right? And he starts to have flashbacks. More flashbacks. The art's incredible, guys. McFarlane, baby. This is his baby. He starts to have more flashbacks on Wanda and things happening. He remembers his death, kind of, and like begging to get out type of thing. She's like a little demon. Or that's I think that's Wanda, but like a demon. And uh, then all of a sudden he comes back and the girl that was getting violated, she's holding him saying, it's okay, it's all, it's all over, it's all over, which I thought was funny. And then we go back to the newscasters talking about more more crimes and stuff being done in the city, more uh, Carlo Giamatti's dad and a bunch of other people. And what's going on, right? So he's starting to remember more he had a wife. And then he's like, I gotta get these clothes off me. Like, I gotta get this outfit off me type of thing. Right? And he takes it off and he sees, this is the reveal that he's all like torn and burned and everything. And he says, uh, what am I type of thing. And then you see him again, like in the garbage cans. And then it goes back to Sam and Twitch talking about, well, if if this if these killers start killing more and more people, right, then uh, you know regular people, then we're gonna have some problems. Um, and then you see the cameo, which no one ever talks about, the cameo of the violator. Cam appearance. And he says, You think you have problems now, Simmons? I promise your troubles have just begun. Ha 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 ha. So that's a cameo of the violator who appears in the next issue. Now, this book, I don't, I guess I skipped over it somehow. But the insert in this book, the newsstand edition, is this dope ass spawn mini poster. I think in the other one it's like a pit poster or something. But in this one is the spawn insert. So yeah, this is the more high valued copy of Spawn, the newsstand. Number one. And uh, there it is, guys. The f first introduction to Spawn. Love you, McFarlane. Stay sick, comic book sickos. We'll see you later.